How to conduct a DPMS operation on F20 machine. Withdraw 12,000 and 500 to 25,000 international unit appearing. Use syringe without needle to withdraw air from HA cartridge and inject the hairpin into the cartridge. Tighten back the cap. Shake and rotate HA cartridge 180 degrees for 10 times to fully mix hairpin with absorbent. Bleach cartridge in a septic tub for 30 minutes statically. Note. Ensure all the resins are completely soaked in the hyperlyzed preserving fluid. Withdraw 18,750 international unit heparin and inject into 1,500 ml normal saline. Note, concentration is 6,250 international unit heparin per 500 ml normal saline. Plug in the power. Turn on F20 machine and start self-checking. Select the DPMS mode after passing self-checking. Place plasma separator on the holder. Place PS330 and HA330-2 on the extended holder. Turn up separate C-line back on the infusion port. Hand clamp the effluent back. On the bottom hook, hand the access site of arterial blood line to the infusion port. Clamp priming line. Connect a PA pressure monitor. Install blood pump line. Place arterial chamber on the chamber holder. Connect P1 pressure monitor. Note: Do not connect arterial blood line to plasma separator until air has been removed along a arterial blood line of a plasma separator is wet membrane. Able to connect to plasma separator first when it is dry membrane. Connect syringe with heparin to the heparin line if on the heparin anticoagulation. Remove air for heparin line and clamp it. Place heparin syringe on the heparin pump. Connect PF pressure monitor to the plasma separator bypass which near blood inlet. Install plasma lion. Connect access side of plasma lion to the plasma separator bypass which near blood outlet. Insert plasma lion into blood leakage detector. Install plasma pump lion. Place plasma chamber on the chamber holder. Connect P2 pressure monitor. Note: Do not connect to BS330 until air has been removed along plasma lion. Install frontal part of a venous blood lion. Connect a venous blood lion to the blood outlet of a plasma separator. Place venous chamber on the chamber holder. Connect PV pressure monitor. Insert a venous blood lion into blood detector. Bubble detector. Vein clamp. And the slot in sequence. Connect the end side of a venous blood lion to affluent back. Install side part of a venous blood lion. Clamp the bypass tube. Insert warming back. Note: Make sure blood flow going through warming back from bottom to top. Connect the venous blood lion which before warming back. To the venous end of HA330 2. Connect the venous end of BS330 and arterial end of HA330 2 with extension tube.
confirm all tube connections and pressure connectors. Check all necessary clamps have been open and all necessary clamps have been closed. Make sure there is no kinking along the line. Connect clamped infusion tube to the priming fluid. Connect another side of the infusion tube to the priming line of arterial blood line. Open clamp. Prime from infusion tube to priming line, then to access side of arterial blood line by priming fluid via gravity. Clamp arterial blood line after removing the ear. Or directly connect access side of arterial blood line to the priming fluid without the infusion tube. Press rings to set rings volume and BP speed accordingly. Start automatic priming. Prime from infusion tube to priming line, then to the end of arterial blood line. Remove air for arterial chamber. Stop blood pump after arterial blood line has been filled up with fluid. Connect the end side of arterial blood line to blood inlet of a plasma separator. Continue priming. Exhaust the air for plasma separator. Remove air for plasma chamber. Stop a pump when plasma lion has been filled up with the fluid. Connect plasma lion to arterial end of a BS330. Open necessary clamps. Continue priming. Use hand to rub a BS330 onto ear is fully exhausted. Until the AJ330-230 to 60 degrees from horizontal position. Use a rubber hammer to hit bottom of a cartridge until all air bubbles are exhausted to venous end of a cartridge. Hold the cartridge vertically. Let air bubbles come out from a venous end of a cartridge following the direction of fluid flow. Note, hit the knot of a venous end by lateral position if there is still little air bubbles. Stop hitting HA cartridge when there is no air bubble or the emptor of an air bubble less than 5 mm. Remove air from venous chamber. Press treatment to enter rinsing test after total priming volume is completed. Enter treatment interface after passing test. Key in parameters accordingly. Connect blood line to patient. Make sure all necessary clamps are open. Press start and confirm treatment parameters again to start treatment. Note, blood pump will operate blood access speed at the beginning of treatment, then will automatically switch to blood speed. When the blood detector detects opaque liquid, the plasma pump will start to run at this point.
After completing treatment, press blood return to return blood. Key in parameters accordingly for blood returning. Range from infusion tube to priming lion, then to exercise site of arterial blood lion for blood returning, but no more saline on the gravity. Clamp arterial blood lion and press start to start automatic blood returning from a priming lion by no more saline. Reverse plasma separator 180 degrees to make blood outlet face downwards. Press plasma return to return plasma after completing blood returning. Key in parameters accordingly. Clamp venous blood line that out from plasma separator. Disconnect PF pressure monitor from a machine. Able to connect it with the normal C line for plasma returning as well if needed. Reverse BS330 and HA330-2 180 degrees to make outlet venous end face downwards. Start automatic plasma returning. Press stop after completing plasma return. Disconnect tubing from a patient and remove all blood line from a machine. Thanks for watching. This guideline is for reference only by medical professionals.